Welcome to Between Classes, the South Dakota State University podcast about jackrabbit life. Today we're talking with Isaac Harris. Welcome, Isaac. Tell us a little bit about you. Hello, uh, my name is Isaac Harris. I am a junior here at SDSU. I am a part of the medical lab science major, and I am you know, working through this year it's microbiology and hoping to progress uh, wonderfully with jackrabbit life and everything that's a part of it. Awesome. So you said you are from Sioux Falls. Um, fun fact, Sioux Falls is bigger than Brookings. It is. So um, when you came when you came to SDSU, tell us about transitioning into a smaller community than what you were used to. Yeah, the transition from Sioux Falls to Brookings was interesting. Uh, the week before, I had moved my sister into Aberdeen, which was smaller than Brookings, of course. Uh, but it was still a interesting transition to go... Uh, it's been pointed out there's not as many things to do in Brookings. Uh, the biggest hit to me was um, the difference of culture. Sioux Falls could be considered urban, while Brookings, even though it is a collection of people, was probably rural. Uh, it's the first time I've seen people legitimately wearing boots and cowboy hats and a, a flannel shirts with the whole getup. That made me realize, wow, this is a little more country-esque than what I've ever been used to. So it was an interesting it was an interesting way to walk in. OK. And so did a number of your classmates from Sioux Falls come to SDSU? I mean, did you kind of run with with the same people when you got here? Uh, no, I did not. Uh, my high school gave a list in the newspaper of who's going to what college. And there was a fair number that went to SDSU. And I see them on campus occasionally, but I really don't talk to many of them. Uh, I've gotten them to know a few of them a year after, during my sophomore year, actually, and it was kind of a meeting of a new person. So I really didn't come to SDSU with any of friends or a friend group or anything like that. So it was, uh, I was kind of on my own from the start to uh, figure out my own friends and figure out life. So while you were doing that, what were the kinds of things that you did to get to know people? I mean, was it study groups? Was it just walking up to somebody in class and saying, hi, how did, how did that go? Uh, it was uh, getting involved, honestly. It's a cheesy line that's repeated over and over again, but it's 100% true. I'm not really the biggest person on going up and talking to somebody and being like, hey, we're in the same class. Uh, Rotunda D has 200 people on it. It's like, we are in the same class, yes. It's more of getting involved with smaller group activities. I joined the men's choir, Statesman. I ended up joining Jumping Jack's Improv. I joined some reading and writing clubs. And meeting people through a smaller group environment is really what allowed me to meet people because I'm really not big on introducing myself. I'm really not big on just walking up to somebody and being like, hi. I just got involved with uh, smaller activities outside of my major and ended up making friends through that instead. So you talked about joining the men's choir and then also Jumping Jack's improv. Were those things that you did in high school or were they totally new to you? Uh, they were totally new. So uh, I really wanted and thought about joining choir in high school, but there was a uh, I guess a little limitation of fear, anxiety about it. And then uh, I kind of half participated in theater, but I was part of the music and uh, tech crews for theater. So I wasn't acting and performing. So when I got to college, it's kind of like, let's go, let's, uh, let's try new things. So I just kind of jumped in. So uh, it's hard to back out of something when you've signed up and paid money for it. So I just jumped into uh, the Statesman. And then uh, through the Statesman, actually, is how I joined... Uh, Jumping Jack's improv uh, through other students, Brett Warpery and Dual Shape, and they kind of brought me into improv. And then through that, I met more people through classes. I joined writing. Yeah, I just kind of ended up getting into involved in these groups, uh, just jumping in head first, seeing if I enjoyed it or didn't. And if I didn't enjoy it, I left. And the ones that I enjoyed, I just stayed with it and it worked out. Awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying that. Um, so a little more shifting gears to a little more academically. Um, what kind of like what kinds of classes are you taking, you know, as as a junior in a in a kind of a medical related field? And what's like what's your favorite class? Uh, my favorite class actually right now is criminal law. There's a lot of questions like, well, what are you taking criminal law? I'm a medical lab science major. I have a criminal justice minor and I also have a minor in speech communication. But criminal law is currently my favorite class this semester. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't really think about it at the time, but uh, I really like the technicalities and um, intermittent things that are happening with law. I think it's a really cool subject, and I like uh, the, the diversity of what's happening. Really, uh, the group discussion is my favorite part, uh, just discussing with other people in class, other students' opinions on the same thing, because it can vary differently, and I think that's fantastic. So you said you also have a minor in speech communication. How did that come about? 
Well, that came about through just um, just me not wanting to do speech 101. Uh, actually, it's uh, it's an interesting it's an interesting story. Um, the in scenario in answer to that whole question is a wonderful professor named Barb Kleingen. So I entered the first day on Monday, my first class of the day, actually, and there was like 30 people in it, and or no, there was like 40 people in it, and it was just a oh, listen to this person lecture. We're going to give speeches occasionally, and I was like, wow, I'm not going to do well in this class because I don't care about it, and I ended up applying or trying to get into honors public speaking. And it didn't work out because it was already full. And then I was emailing a bunch uh, with Professor Kleingen and then uh, working with advisors to try to happen it, to get it to work out. And it didn't until that Thursday when they were meeting. And uh, I got an email really early in the morning. It was 8 a.m. And that class meets at 930. Uh, and they were like, hey, if you come to the academic center, there's an opening in that class and we can get you in. And so I did. And then I went there and I switched it. And then I went from there immediately. And it was like 915 at the time. And I just immediately walked into public speaking on that Thursday. And then uh, that was probably one of my best college decisions ever. I really didn't know why I was fighting to get into public speaking that much. Um, but it was a fantastic choice. And I do not regret a second of it. Awesome. So what kind of advice would you have for um, incoming freshmen and, and sophomores as far as how to really make the most of their time at SDSU? I say get involved. And uh, that's it's a cheesy line. You hear it at convocation. You hear it at uh, a hobo nights. So you hear it at uh, really, really a bunch of events that are catered towards freshmen. Really, it's good advice. And I would truly take it to heart out of any of the other messages that they tell you. And then because getting involved uh, is a really uh, something that's easy in college. Uh, you can just decide to join something. And if you don't like it, the worst that you do is leave. Um, and so that's really what I would impress upon um, freshmen, sophomores. It's really never too late to start, honestly. Uh, if it's your senior year, join choir if you haven't done it. Join Jumping Jacks because the experience is always something you can carry with you. So that would be my biggest advice to people. Just honestly get involved. Ignore it as a cheesy line repeated over and over again and take it to heart. Thank you for joining us today, Isaac, and sharing your experience at State. This is Between Classes. Thank you for listening.